And everybody look at you like, oh, you're Patrick Sertan's son. But when I started making a name for myself was in high school. You know, when big time schools started recognizing me and recognizing my play, and it was like, man, he's just not a kid of a former NFL pro. Like, he's that guy. In 11 seasons with the Dolphins and Chiefs, Patrick Sertan Sr. pulled down 37 career interceptions and made the Pro Bowl three times. That success inspired his son, Broncos cornerback Patrick II, to one day follow his father's career path. I just remember sort of like motivated me because seeing how he prepped, seeing how he carried himself, and it was something I fell in love with from the beginning. At an early age, you can just tell he had the ball skills. I kind of noticed that probably around 10, 11, he was doing some things that elite guys do at an early age. How much pressure or responsibility comes with being your dad's son? Well, pressure is a privilege. And obviously, you got the pedigree, you got the name, and a lot of expectations is risen on you at a young age. You know, I just. Uh, eliminate the noise and just focus on what I need to focus on. With dad as head coach, the Sertans won back-to-back -back state championships at American Heritage High School in Plantation, Florida. After that last game, I can remember vividly, I broke down because it was overwhelming to know that he's played his last high school game and just kind of, you know, got to me. Just dad being dad. It was like a little father and son moment. I shed some tears too because my dad been with me every step of the way since I was young. Um, him being by my side, him coaching me up, but also just him being a role model. Pass is picked off at midfield by Sertan. Pat Sertan II won a national championship at Alabama in 2020 and went ninth overall in the draft the following spring. He also made first-team All-Pro in his second year, three years faster than his father was selected. If you are fortunate enough to play close to a decade, just like your dad did in this league, who gets bragging rights for the best corner in the family? I think I'm off to a good start right now, if you ask me. Obviously, I got a lot of catching up to do, but I say by the time that decade come, it's gonna be me. The love and appreciation we have for each other stands the test of time. I always tell them, no matter what happens, I'm your biggest fan. This football thing gonna fade away, but I'm gonna be dad forever.